in the way now the sex is conducted it would not be affectionate sex it, there would be no kissing no caressing it would be just demand after demand is a look is a look is a look is a look right and then as the re- the relationship pro- progressed um there were things like body cutting where umuntu uzothatha eraser and say eating you garbage come okay as excellent also for success maybe number five yeah bossa put hey my and you like how it's so early it's like i don't guess it is a poor massive people but then when you're in the shower they, they they had the tendency of showering with you but you are facing the wall and he's at the back of you Oh, gorgeous people welcome to my youtube channel this is uncensored with rumbi thank you guys for passing by i'm asking you to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you turn on the button turn on the notification button so that you don't miss any of the content that i upload on this channel jackie palmotti she, she rose you know what i mean when you talk about an incredible woman you definitely look at jackie palmotti you know it's one thing to hear people's stories another thing to hear them say they've defeated the devil and you know, that's the most important part and i think she's such an inspiration especially to the young star of today so we're going to be watching an incredible video that she did which is a live that she did with um one of the oh but isn't that a good sign i've never had men just giving me money and giving me money i'm like wow go go hey it's like no but i'm tired of that i want a relationship and when i started to reach your books that's when i understood like oh my god there's no free money here somebody doesn't just give you 10,000 upon meeting you somebody doesn't send you 100,000k by just meeting you there is an ulterior motive you know yeah. to that so i'm going to ask one of the tribe members please pin the topic down write the topic so i can pin it we're talking about sexual spiritual ties mm-hmm. in in relationships and which better person to tell us about that <laughs> than a person who's been through that experience i still can't get through I can't get over the traumas that Treasure had to go through. So Treasure is the books, the best series. Is it correct for me to call it the best series because I feel like it's a series. Yeah. And I hope one day Jackie somebody will be brave enough to actually resource it to become a film, a you know, a a a streaming, you know, whether Netflix is listening, whether a uh, Barkin a uh, Showmax is listening because it can't just end in books because also uh, you know our generation doesn't like reading you see when you put a when you write a long uh when you like write a long post they don't read they don't, don't read it no kidding. they don't read it so when it's it's in in the platforms where they can actually hear it i feel like it will be it will be real for a lot of people because i feel like people still don't don't get the message that you're trying to pass across you know there's there's a saying that said if you want to hide something from a black person write it in books yeah yeah Mm. right but your books are powerful i've called you we've spoken for hours after i read the book and i'm like no but jackie why is he so horrible what happens to him you know and i'm like oh my god no this can't be you know why why is this happening because you get so hooked into the book and you could see parts of yourself in the game even though you are not in the hockey club even though you're not a part of the blessed game but you see where you could have easily fallen into it so we're talking about sexual and spiritual ties what is your understanding so bring it to us when and how did you come about because in your book you write about that even though you don't highlight the book as that but you actually reveal that so to rozani makosi um koko i i don't know what it is but When I was very young, I I had the gift of almost foreseeing things, meaning I know things before they happen. And I knew that from a very young age, like I I can predict things really well. However, how the best series came about. Oh, I didn't greet everyone here. Hi guys. Sorry. I know I know once I start talking about these things I forget my manners and do I apologize and one night. Um And and just before I forget go can you switch off the comments so that I yeah. don't correct it um but and then once we are done with the the, the body issue the comments um so, so I I I 
I went through hell and back in, in terms of who I am, what I have experienced and what I know. And that's how the Bear series came about. And, and a lot of people have asked this question and I think your tribe will also equally ask it, Uguti. Um, is the best series real? Are the stories that I write about real? Who, do, who are they about? Um, and others will say I relate because I, I have experienced similar. But um, to tell you the honest truth, the series is purely about me and my friends. Mm. Um, Treasure, the main character, is me. Um, I experienced a, a, a very horrific relationship that I couldn't have foreseen for myself i didn't plan i didn't go looking out for it um i mean when when i dated this guy that i dated i was 19 and i think some of your your, your tribe would be understanding of the sensitivity of the age that you don't know yourself and you're still discovering yourself you you're trying to get into a career you're trying to see what you like, what you don't like. And and, and, and I'm going to raise something that's very sensitive, but it, it's, it's aligned to where we are going. When I was young, I, I witnessed my dad abuse my mom a lot in different kinds of ways, whether it's physical, um, emotional, and I would also maybe even temper into the spiritual because my mom was a, a very gifted um, person. She and her siblings were Abantu Abamans. So mm. they... They 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 uh -huh. um, they they were able to speak to waters. They were able to heal through water. They were able to to communicate spiritually with with water. Um, but I realized that her gift was not fully functional because of the marriage that she was in, because she was suppressed a lot. Um, so I think over the years that gift went on to be passed on to me because I, I started feeling and experiencing what she's experiencing without being, without it being done to me. So I would feel how she's feeling when I, I would feel how she's feeling even when I'm far away from her. I would know. I would literally feel maybe a side pain or back pain or a headache or I would feel like I want to cry. And then immediately when that happens, I would call her and I'll find her crying. Do you understand? Yeah. So when I was around 17, I got gang raped. And that demon of being raped stayed with me for the longest time because it, it almost harnessed the man, the type of man I would be attracted to. Mm. It, it has, um, and I'm not Zulu, please correct me, but sometimes when I speak about this thing, but so please bear with me if I digress in, in terms of languages. Um, but I I started realizing that 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 incident called upon a certain type of man. And not that I was thinking about it, it would just automatically happen that all the men would approach me, all the men would want to have relations with me, and my peers, people who are my age, would not really be interested in dating me. Um, and I equally didn't feel the need to date them because I just feel like we were not aligned. I don't know if it was an intellectual thing or it was just how I was raised as well because Kim was so too, so from my family, um, a lot of young people get married off very young, which is 16, 18, 19, and they get married to older people, uh, meaning 15 years difference, 20 years difference. So I didn't see the wrong in it. I, I, I was not even exposed to the languages of using terms like pedophiles or pedophilic men or people who, who, who learn young children and so forth. I was not accustomed to that type of language as we are now where we can identify those kind of people but i just thought that it's what i knew and I, I i understood it to be that so i dated this person when i was 19 i was living in Bramfontein, and he was introduced to me by a friend um and this is how now, now the blesses game comes about the, the actual book comes about um I dated him, he was wealthy. I didn't know that he was wealthy. 
I only saw it in the sprouts of of what he had, things like cars, living arrangement, um, even the type of food that we, we would eat. But I think to, 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 to keep to our topic, once I realized that this is a different type of human being, it was in the sexual acts that he wanted to, to have with me. So it moved from the normal we're having sex as a couple. This is most probably a year into the relationship, so it was not immediately or sudden. So I was, I didn't see the red flags immediately. Um, it started off with saying, um, listen, we are going to Cape Town. We're going to book a place with my friends. We're going to play golf during the day. And then later on, we're going to hang out in this um, penthouse. And I thought, oh, man, I mean, I've experienced this before with him where we travel and have play golf and enjoy um, places. But I didn't anticipate the type of acts that he wanted, you know. Um, it started off with the simple act of, okay, and my friends are coming. Um, so I need you to dress a certain way. Um, on this day, you can't eat meat. And I, I used to be a huge meat eater. And I would question would tell what's wrong, what's wrong with meat? Like chicken, beef, steak wouldn't be a big deal. But he would persist on not eating the meat on that specific day. And he would say, no, you will eat it the following day or after. So I didn't really think much of it. But when when the the evening finally got to the place he wanted in terms of the atmosphere, um, there were other girls in, in, in the penthouse. There were men, older men, I mean, really old, 40-something, 50-something. And this is now when I was 19. So you can see the age difference, like a good 20, 22, 23 years in age difference. Um, so, so he then suggested that, okay, we're going to have an orgy. An orgy is something that I didn't know. Um, I was not accustomed to that type of sexual interactions. But you, you would see people change partners. You would see the guys sneak in and out of the bathroom. Um, and, and very sober-mindedly so, because they were not drunk. Yes, they were drinking, but they were not drunk. But you would see that there's something that they are doing amongst themselves that we are not aware of. Um, and they would exchange things amongst themselves. So I just thought, I, maybe it's a cigar or drugs or, or, or something. But I didn't think that it would be traditional medicine, which is... Um, yeah. Right? Um, and I would see those things in his car, maybe in his bag, toiletry bag, but I just didn't think much of it. I thought I thought it was body oils or whatever. But but that's the naive me, you know. I would see that, but then I would see how they engage with each other in how they exchange these things. Um, and also, I had um, I had overheard a conversation during the day where he's almost speaking to somebody on the phone and in at Omniga instructions as to what must happen today and he, he he was very paranoid about the instructions that he was getting on the phone and he repeated things like okay and i i would know that he's talking about me um, and i would now become a little bit uncomfortable but i didn't know what was um planned for the for the night so um, it was that baby Kodisa, umuntu bubo na muti ulala no muntu apume ayok ayokeza quickly quickly go into the shower and then come back. Magabuya, there's there's this smell that smells like what's like a food. It's not even oil, as in like your your tea tree oil, your the, your you know the, the, your citrus flowing at ukeza emuva. But it feels like a lotion, but it's not a lotion. But not yet gaze, and then there would be a little bit of a razor, a cut, a little bit here, a little bit there, and you're like, what's that? And you would be like, I mean, um, this is what we do. Not explaining what it is for, it would yeah. be what, but this is what we do. 
uh, when uh, you you need to surrender to the way Nyenzi Zidonga corner. Don't ask me a lot of questions, but just know Uguti, it's for us. It's Ukulisa Lomuzi Losuakayo. I mean, it's a lie. You're 19 years old. Which Muzi Waka Umu you know? But they ha- he had a way of manipulating the showering to look like almost like a sexual connection when you I guess I know you too. Uzo Kezisa, Akezisanga Pansi, Afage Umunwa, Ingati Kona into Kodisa Ngayo, a massage. But now this is because you are cool, man. Ingati Usho Itagazelo, but I got cool men because you cool men are Pansi. So because you're in the shower and you're a little bit confused, you would not understand what's going on. But Itagazelo, you you can hear them. But we as visa, we as Isho Yena, um, but. Marasa Kotile, Uzo Booza, maybe Imu Booza would write to the Uzo for Mautia no five at the Massesel Zeganjige. It means Nanawa will be stronger. And I'm not going to be a little bit of 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 a little and because you're not understanding of what rituals are at the time, as young as I was, I just thought that he's a traditional man, meaning mm-hmm. he's from a traditional background. The way we respect each tradition, for an example, when you're dating a Zulu man, even though you don't know his game, you almost surrender because you want to honor what he is. Um, but over time, I, I started now seeing umuntu taluku uye matune ni gakulu uzo hamba ye matune ni abuye no msabati no msabati loo au fage lese uma plompoti au fage ya bwana maone isita like a flower in the house there would be flowers that he only he waters um, but mwaba nya mbona maga puma uzo puma atuge a certain way uzo hamba epsugu abuye in the flowers in the house we are and um you 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 start almost checking out of your body because it's like he's always with you and you like this guy doesn't even live with me how can i feel him so powerfully and so intimately every time i'm alone so i would always feel i would feel like i would walk in the house and i would feel like um yeah. so it's things like that where you realize that you 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 a lot of power a lot of influence a lot of money these things that they see in you that they can use to enhance their things not only business but is tools is like or um then you are you feel cool is to some so that when they are in public they are for, they are seen as powerful people using less than is as touch of way as an innocent child um as much as i had mentioned the rape in the beginning and a rape almost removes your innocence however yeah. which is your birth given light which people um, can identify with it regardless of the internal traumas and the suffering and all of that it corner is something that almost aligns with light regardless of what you have what you have been through that people can identify and i think he saw that in me from the minute he met me and he made a decision over a period of four years um there was also a case of i got pregnant he he hired a, a a private nurse to extract the child out of me and till to this day i don't know what happened to that fetus because him and the nurse are the only people who know with that fetus because when i woke up 
everything was gone. And Ubumbuza was about the thing. He's he every time we would have an argument or fight, he would say, Ungalibali would be no way up with Whoopi. Meaning, I have taken all the entire DNA. Oh my god, I got chills, yeah. eh? Because sure. it, 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 it's like girls who love leaving tampons and pads and, and have sex when they're on their period. It's that moment where you are connected to your inner spark where in Kanja is almost ignited at that time when you have your period. So that's why a lot of men will insist on having sex the first two days of your period and the last day of your period. Because inzalo can happen at any time. But for them, it's not about inzalo. It's to take that spark in Zalo. Take it with them so that your opportunities of Zala Meaning mm -hmm. they have taken the souls that you were given to carry so that is katmasfiguchubenabandwana you must carry those souls when you are born you are born with gifts and you are born and i'm speaking for women now you are given in kanda which is in seven years alda in seven years old so other people are doctors other people are nurses other people are writers but you call in kanda ozana right but also you are also given the, the the black line and the chain of how many people will come from you meaning yeah. how many kids will you have it's already destined by yazi abagini nunkunkulu wako kuti upalisa utando uzo zala abandona abai three or abai five in pigeni yagi then upeli they will not have more than that so those things are already in you and na maga maga mayo gena maga yo gena he already knows kuti i've got how many opportunities to take what i need to take Mm -hmm. And I don't want to miss the gap, the window of taking. So the gap of, of the, the gap of taking is during pregnancy and during your period. So you would find that other people, when the woman gets pregnant, they have seasons of having sex with them. Then they will go a long time without having sex with them. And even when they miscarry, they will insist of ha having sex just after the miscarriage because they know the window of inzalo igupi lintanta igupi after that they can go three four five months and still mm. their partner so what i realized is immediately i i remember i was sitting in the hospital in morning city center and i was crying and i was asking what happened where's my baby and what he literally took me from the hospital to the apartment and started forcing sex and i said there is no way i can have sex i have a pad on i'm bleeding my body is painful i'm disorientated i'm on this medication that i don't know i don't know and he was like you don't have to have sex i'm having the sex you don't need to participate you're not having the sex and it's in it's 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 in, it's in, it's within, within those things where i realized it's not about me it's about what i carry inside of me that he is so desperate for because in ati in you said garden near high i don't know because it's looking you know when you water a garden he feels revived in those times he feels stronger in those times he gets more zeal in those times. He gets more deals in those times when my spirit is at, at its lowest. And I also want to raise the, the, the issue of anal sex, what anal sex really is. When, and this is something that I was supposed to do repeatedly over a long period of time, even when I'm on my period, right? So when you're having anal sex, there is no way a woman fully enjoys it without surrendering meaning or you are leaning on a chair or you're leaning on a bed or on your four four arms spiritually what that symbolizes number one is that you are surrendering to whatever power 
is behind you, which is the man that's behind you. And if lo lo muntu nona ukeze mubuti or unes twalo or uhamba nes twalo, ngalusus kan is twalo sake siya kupuga siya nyuga almost rises like an elephant or rises like a lion. So imagine in Dombazana in her full form on the ground kneeling, surrendering to Lentole Empagame, right? And I'm sorry if other people don't understand what I'm saying because Zulu Posa Susutu Zwana, but I just hope they are they are following or there's somebody who can translate. Um especially for people who are international. I'm so sorry. Um so she's kneeling down on her four legs, meaning arms and legs. Isbeletosa, which is your 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 womb, is exposed. It's, exposed. it's very yeah. exposed because it's leaning forward and it's relaxing. All your muscles are leaning forward. Your human chakras, which is the sun around your body, that thing that gives you elevation, falls. Right? So you, you are bowing down to this thing that's behind you. And you will understand in these moments, men don't necessarily want to cuddle or kiss you or even affirm you as theirs. They would want to do things like call me by my surname, call me by Istagazelo. Call you're gonna when people say call me daddy. Ah, you man, Yo, this is hectic, man. Yeah. You know when Yo. men, and I'm not saying all men, guys, please. I'm saying when a man says Mbize and then girls will say yeah i call him daddy no you don't call him daddy you know ma when you're kneeling down it's either it's either it's either it's either or 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 meaning you are bowing down to whatever it is he is carrying with him at that moment and because we are you are on your hey. he goes into your body and relaxes in your body you'll see most of the time men don't necessarily start hitting you from the back it's like we are gainer and he relaxes making sure Guti, what's in your womb or equally relaxes so that in his mind, he has already prepared the ceremony. From the body fluids, they enter and sit on your chakra, blocking any other energy that can protect you at the time. That's why when you have anal sex, it is very difficult to even say, Oh, stop. Because they are holding you which is your behind and pulling you inwards. When that happens, you have no choice but to surrender to whatever it is that he's carrying. So he will do as he pleases until he is done. Most of the time, you would find that or Uzo Kamela pants. Maga Kamela pants. Where na is Bella to circle is on the floor. Remember where you are, right? Young can let us go be saying, I am Vuga, Isala, Gue. That's why you will wake up with stomach cramps. You will wake up with feeling like your ovaries, Gupshugu. You will even feel like Ude pals when you don't have the pals. Because and to a point where even your movement as a woman would be very uncomfortable. That's why after anal sex or or um king dog style, king, eh, dog style, they would not necessarily go back and have sex with you. They will not do it. After that, they will be done. They will leave. Yeah, I want to hold it there. I like I like your um I cannot I, I, I can't conceptualize in my head the intensity of your experience you know so I think first you say it takes courage for one to oh, to come through that and I, 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 I like that you don't even come across as a victim you know it feels you went through your stages of healing 
and now you're using your experiences to teach you know and i want to say to people who are listening just because you don't believe in it doesn't mean it doesn't exist um because a lot of times people become skeptical because yeah. I, I, I learned that firsthand when I was resisting my calling to become a healer. Uh, that what I believed in the healing uh, elements of my ancestors or not, the, the, the gift was there and it, it manifested, you know. So just first to say, like, that takes a lot of bravery and courage. And what you are telling me is not what is in the book. So people still need to read the books to get more information. Because when I look at the books, I remember when I first read, and my first red flag, re, well, not, not then, because I read the book a while ago, not then, but because I've been through also, you know, abuses post reading the first book. Now I understand, Guti. Actually, the first red flag was him pampering you with excessive, expensive gifts. Yes. That was the first red flag. Like that nice that expensive cologne because he also smelled expensive yes. you know actually the first red flag was walking into a very fancy apartment of your friend who was a student at varsity mm-hmm. even though but yeah. that, those balls were you know but i guess at the time as well it was like oh no you've got a good partner because you know so i'm just saying to 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 people who are listening the red flags are there but i like what you said that because sometimes of what has happened to us right we tend not to see the red flags because there was also a need for for a father figure who was loving and caring you know and that guy came as loving and caring and gave you the the attention that your father didn't give you so it felt like oh my god this is what i've been seeking and i also want to make another disclaimer we are not saying all of these sexual experiences are carry you know we just say we're speaking about Jackie's experience and how you can identify for yourself because from what I'm hearing with everything that you're saying when there is a sinister um, motive behind an act there is no love and affection there is no cons- consent whatsoever you are completely non-consenting you know even if you could feel like you are you are coerced because cohesion is not consent mm. right and also they target women much younger than them because they're much more vulnerable and they could be dominant you know it's easy to dominate because it's about domination and control and it's always about that to dominate and control and to reign supreme you know for eternity because it's like i want to be the most powerful forever and ever you know till 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 thy kingdom come Mm -hmm. so we we're speaking here not generalizing but we're speaking within the context of the topic that we've outlined sexual and spiritual ties we're speaking in the context of the books that you have written uh, and the character name is treasure in the book but treasure is you and you're confirming that the woman you are talking about i still can i know you told me this before but i, I can't still because i've read all the books like the amount of aggression and violence you've went through and how you came on the other side you can tell still the tor- story without going after your perpetrator you know so i and 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 yeah and somebody said to me when i showed them whatsapp messages of an ex and how i got violated and was like hi man you've got evidence you've got evidence let's go to the police and i said come i will get them you know i'm not going to give them the attention to 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 do that so before you come in i want to speak about some of the spiritual things so that i can educate people you were speaking about the experience i'm going to attach them to to the spiritual things so you spoke about something very powerful here about you come from a from a lineage of powerful women who are connected to the private water so probably those women are also guardians of the sacred waters and we know how powerful what the water element is one of the most powerful element because it carries two powerful dualities right water can rejuvenate can cleanse can release but water can also destroy and overpower and that is in your lineage right that healing power that healing gift the other thing is you're an intelligent woman because from the book that's how i learned that oh you know you're you 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 are pursuing the academic world from school you were an athlete you're a model so there was a lot of other things that you had that somebody who was trying to grow their business can actually benefit and siphon from mm. Then the other thing, when you're explaining all these sexual acts, especially when you're talking about 
you know, mucho ataca mejor, right? For what happens in the surrendering. And you were speaking about your chakra. So this is what happens when you're on your knees as a healer. And this is why we say they have to be on their knees, but not behind, not with the uh, yeah, yeah. trainer behind them. No, no, no. Facing when they're looking at their government, you know, or when they're talking to people, because every time you go on your knees, you engage your umbilini energy. We call it the kandalini energy. Mm. The healer energy gets activated every time you go on your knees and it gets stronger and stronger and stronger and it opens all your chakras up. Then you are able to see beyond this world. Mm. And when they when they targeting the womb, this is where your solar plexus and your sacral chakras are. Solar plexus and your sacral chakra are the, what, I mean, it's three chakras, right? Mm. Is your root chakra, mm -hmm. right? Where your, your roots, Umbelego is yes. your sense of safety, sense of security is given them, you know, they they taking that and they separate that. Your solar plexus, you know, the, your 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 sacral chakra. So your whole form of identity, we have is is all sucked out. Because women's power is in the womb. Because remember when we speak about the masculine and the feminine and we speak about the feminine energy that it's actually bringing things to life. You can think things, but you know, we can think making a baby, we can be intimate, but the life can only be fostered in the womb. If the womb is not healthy, you know, then life cannot be fostered. If there are problems in the womb and you can also understand why they target people, young people, because the womb at that time, it's in its prime, you know, it's the prime of of conception so i just wanted to say those things and to say now i understand why we would recommend people to after a sexual assault one of the cleansings besides the emotional and mental healing they need a physical cleansing to release the auric field that says darkness follow me karma because like you were saying that in your story that you were gang raped and afterwards the whole shebang started to happen, right? Not, it's never your fault and it could never be your fault, but already you had a vibrating spirit that says, you know, come, give me love, yes. come sign for me, right? And because that club as well was his, right? Because later in one of the books, I don't remember which one, you do write that that club belongs to the guy that you dated. Yes. So it feels like you were a target from a long time because they watch people. And that incident was the first time where you, the GPS was put on you. So, on the gang rape, you yeah. know? So I'm saying this to people to say that when when we encourage people, if they've been through, you know, a violent, traumatic experiences, not only to please do the emotional and the psychological, it's incremental and it's the first place, but go and seek a cleansing because you are detaching and breaking a cord that does not need to be fed beyond that experience. You know, that's why you find a lot of people who become victims over and over again. I mean, I, my first sexual assault was at three, you know, and I, my recent one was as an adult, right? As an adult. And it's only, uh, I think in 2020 where I actually was intentional to do a cleanse, to break that. But now I'm dealing with breaking the emotional and the psychological cords because it leaves it leaves them it, it leaves your portal open so it becomes like this so vampires who are seeking for for your energy can smell it and they will come and want to take and siphon because from the books um jackie it was more than him it was even you know his right wing man well it was him it also makes sense why he he knew so much about where you were and what was happening yes. so this is scary so i want I, I i want us to to speak about you spoke in detail about some of the red flags uh, i want us to speak about how do we how do we start to notice them before we even get to the intercourse what are some of the things that you can start to tell you know any stages of the relationship if there's any to bring um you know i i, I always ask this question Uguti in daughter my say when they have achieved what they want to achieve right what is it that makes them long for younger girls forget about the wife not doing her duties and 
forget about him lying ngo to mfazo wakhe wenza kanje akasamfuni akasamkhaleni in fact they want to divorce they are separate all of those things are lies when you reach a certain pinnacle and competition becomes harder you want to use every avenue you can especially because tina singabantu black people understand the power of harmony they understand the power of tradition they understand the power of traditional medicine and with that this is why history is important to learn when you look at black history in every family there's always been a healer whether it's umtandazi isangoma or uh, uh, almost like igela in every family and those people were put in that family to, to protect the clan and once you tamper with a certain family you inherit what that other family has has right mm-hmm. it's like maulela e e e uh maulela e e e what do you call it um izipo right so somebody has wealth in terms of cows and land is it right you start off by doing what penetrating the females we are mitisa la ungene la ushatela ushatela to a point where you inherit those things not that you loved any of them you are penetrating the blood line that's what you're doing yeah. so right now we do not have the, the protection of the family clan because we are dispersed in different areas of the world so you've got people who are from KZN in Joburg got to go pull up one day in Joburg so it's a mix masala of 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 different clans and traditions here and it's so unfortunate that young people don't know about the family tree meaning the family tree would guide you in who's the healer and how are you supposed to be healed in that family so this is why this is this is why when uhamba uye enyangeni uyo uyo celusizo ukuthi um something bad has happened i need cleansing they always take you back to gini huba ni ohambisa isibongo niyenza kanjisha no who are you from what is your clan name wenza kala because there are people who can only be healed by water there are people who can only be healed by certain herbs not even mixing herbs that you get from the water right so ukhona imithi that you only use from entabeni and then there's only umuthi osebenzisa that other people can only use if ihlanganiswe namanzi and then other people can only be used um, and be helped by um, prayer right where you like gini nisebenza ngegazi or nisebenza ngumthandas because there are there are people who if you cleanse them ngenkuku things go left right if you cleanse them ngembuzi things go left because they are not people of blood they are people of water right so when when when, when powerful people and i say male and females because females have access to the same power that men do they sleep with young boys young girls and so forth but they use what they use so when you when you start seeing a man who is so invested in showering you with gifts and they shower remember this umuntu makakunika isipho whether imali ibag iphone inwele before he gives it to you uyayibika emsamweni but uyayibika ukuthi lemali leye phone mele ibuye tenfold yo mele ibuye kanje ka meaning ma kunika le mali le uzokunika 10000 kube mnandi ujabule cabe ukuthi yo usengithandile ke manje ungikhethile aphinde futhi akunike 20000 every time he gives you money it will double you will see ukuthi from 10000 ukunike 20 from 20 ukunike but then look at your behavior change automatically meaning ukulala kwakho kusafani your things that did you dream about are safani bakhona mantombazana they moving but mahlala bamanzi they always have to use panty liners because every time they sleep with someone mahlala bamanzi and you ask yourself before ngilala nalo muntu nona i didn't have excessive discharge to a point where 
I need to always wear a panty liner. Why is that happening? Um, man, when I'm with certain people, I'm very irritable. I don't want to be in, in certain people's spaces. I am only comfortable when this person is here. It only shows you, Ubuti, Amanda Wake, start orientating around you to a point where you cannot use your external forces to carry yourself. So you're depending on him spiritually more than dependence of his paying your bills and what. It's that spiritual connect that you need to understand when you move. You will see also the things that you excelled in, you stop excelling. Mm. But he starts growing. Mm. So if you are smart at school and you were doing well at school, you start failing. You start forgetting mm. things. You mm. start maupala exam. You feel blocked. But two weeks ago, you knew all the schoolwork. But nyelanga kuti upale wenza assignment vele kuvale, right? But he will equally encourage you because he will say, "No man, you will try again next year. It's fine. You will do this." But we are tata. Even your physical structure, you will see your skin will change. Other people, we have a born of Baba de Londa. Out of nowhere, you're like, I never had Ilonda before. I've never struggled with skin problems. I've never struggled with um, um, sexual problems in terms of we are born with this discharge, this irrash. And remember, these things are not only STDs but they are spiritual that's why it's very hard to cure them even if you drink antibiotics it, they will not go away as a matter of fact you'll find that they will accelerate the problem the 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 the, the, the western medic medicine will accelerate the problem because an air cooler inside of you right um then you've got women who who will then say anxiety a I don't have my regular period as I used to. It's because Lentulai Fagile is starting to eat the nature inside of you. So you will skip your period, you will skip it, it will come two, three days, and then you've got women who will say, I was fine, but now I have a period for two, three weeks. So, meaning, is what is that? You understand what I'm saying? So but Meaning, even if you are on your period, he will still sleep with you because Anna he's feeding from you. Um you will also see things like um remember earlier on I mentioned Uti, your environment in terms of the way you move around your space will be different. Am I poor, poor? Um, the aura in the house will instantly feel a little bit heavy um, but when he's around everything's fine, you feel like there's light, but when he's gone this dimness and you, you become a very sad person and you're like hey, bo, I, I'm not even sure why am I sad, why am I feeling a depression, why am I feeling this it's because that are supposed to almost protect his interest meaning you will not have friends you will not Pro have protect children. his investment but i invested in you yeah he's so investing in you security guards uh, to protect the investment security blanket, you know but you will see with nsm 7 zini people will start getting irritated you will start losing jobs you start doing but this is ever since this person is here things will almost go left but he will keep on giving you money he will keep on giving you things but remember that money is almost like blood money. I shy. So you will get the ten thousand unga bon You will get the hundred thousand uti utenga imoto imoto shy. Kwa e ten thousand. You will go on holiday, but you will feel even lonely at the holiday. Uguchaibo nise gupi gupi kile hoteli, but I don't even have the zeal and excitement to be here. It's because ilwa nizake ziyambam all the time. So. Also, we must look at how, what type of things they ask of you. What I mean by that is that there are people who will say, Maulawa, Gwenzoran. 
Yeah. You can't sleep in this room. You can't do this. You can't wear my clothes. Because you you know girls have this thing with Maga Figan don't deal of Mufara each a kid. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Or yes. So he will be very strict about his dozak. No. Uh-uh. Unga tohi. Because he knows Uguti. Um sama wake use kathe. Meaning is in dozake. It's a shadow of him in the clothes. So even if you wear his jacket, he will say, no, don't, 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 I would rather buy you. But it shows you how he's distancing himself from you indirectly, right? So there, there are many examples and I think people will have their own experiences. I'm just articulating what I know, what I have experienced and what I have also experienced through my friends who come back and articulate their their own stories um but i think as we open the comments we will see yeah other i'm going to open the comments yeah now. we'll see other I, I think for me this is very insightful you know um i will tell you i know of people don't please take one symptom and start to think your ex will fight this one because you know people on social yes, media uh, you you can and you can self diagnose from what you check here said that's why Jackie said it's important. Um, but also, I we also need to tell Guti, some of these people can thrive, you know, outside those of us who claim to become Abala Pibenda Google Maras Nabatagat. You understand? Yes. And I'm gonna warn I'm gonna warn women, Guti. Be careful of also because what I've also seen from my experiences having girls that come uh, who are in relationships with people like that without some of them unconsciously knowing some of them do know um what they also would want the taste of the nice life would want them to keep hold of the guy then they'll come to me as a goko and say hey goko no mundu nyam tanda wenze la yonki ito you know is there something i can do can you don't understand but you are also creating a sacrament so move away from healers who are instead of healing you as a problem but they want to add more problems by having you also temper with another person's will. So even if when they come to you and they say, oh, I want to keep them. And because Naya Ihila is in the same, they will do the ritual to keep the darkness within you. So that's number one. You become very careful. The other thing, right? So it's around you. And what you have said is that we're speaking in the context of those people who are in, you know, who are in relationships with adults. But there are these things that people get from families, right? In their own families, the minute you start having your periods, yeah. But when the car, yeah. but that's a topic I'll discuss on another day. How those things also come to about. Uh, about. So it's and I want to also clarify. We should check if we can come and meet. It doesn't mean we won't come to move. Right? We meet. 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 We pulling apart energy forces that they cannot and that's why they need people who are spiritual because targeted people we've already said especially right now i've seen a trend of spiritually gifted young women who are being targeted you know i've had a story of a woman who was invited into a meeting and then exactly what you explained she got drunk she got you know went and she had a dream i think this was on a live some tribe members will remember she came on my life like the one who came on wednesday to say go for i got raped i'm like you yeah. look down is it your partner it's like no i got invited i thought it was a meeting that it was a party there were you know strippers there was a lot of alcohol so also things that look like it's out of the ordinary because it could look like a nice party vibe but you gotta listen to your gut feeling if it's like no man there's too much going on there's too much alcohol there's too much everything when things are in excessive that's another red flag when you get it because that's an early sign so she stayed anyway she had a drink and then she says she doesn't remember she remembers being woken up by a dream of one of um her siblings uh, actually her, her nieces say fuga 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 we are and when she was opening her eyes this guy was behind her i've had another in incident of a woman who yeah, and I, they were out in the club you know she stays overseas and then she was 
you know she came here and she was having problems in her marriage and then she was like let me go out the next thing they have drinks she goes to this guy's house she just remembers when she wakes up and this guy's like are you ready for round two remembers nothing of when did i consent for round one you see and people can ask because people would be like yeah mara why do these people they are wealthy most why do they do that hey guys it's not for pleasure it's for power yeah. if it's for pleasure they can purchase it somewhere else you know where it, it, it's dead and it's gone because it needs to be aggressive it needs to be you know it needs to be violent because it's about siphoning right it's about taking the power that you are by you submitting to and surrendering to their power so it's that's why it's it's a matrix and it's not as easy as people think it is it's very complex yeah. Yeah. so i'm saying to young people if there's young people who are listening and uh, you want the soft life it's soft life yes it is it <laughs> i get this a song early. i'm gonna open comments as you see yeah. let me open the comments you know you know Coco um there was a post that I, I I shared a couple of days ago about the rise of um HIV you know um and I'm and I'm I'm raising this because you know it, it's December and a lot of young people are struggling are desiring and they want to be part of this new social club where everybody has things and they showing things and they traveling and they with these powerful people it's almost like a a social badge to be part of these people you know um and it it it's beca- it comes very difficult when intombazana goes to a healer and asks for izinto that they don't know how to manage so uzothela umuthi okuthi indoda mayilala nawe kube mnandi akuthande right however the same then the opposite also happens uti you will fall pregnant you will have an abortion and then you will come back and use lomuti for to bamba right because when ufuna imali ufuna ufuna ingane ufuna imali they will start using these things in conjunction with the dirt that's already within them and they're not even realizing how much damage that they are doing you know um and then also when it comes to to modern modern day healers and the the, the way they market and they speak of their business um is come I'll give you cleansing but I'll also give umuti ubamba those two cannot coexist ngeke uthi unike ingane umuti ubamba indoda or you tata imali or umuti ukuthi makasalele nendoda enye akwazi ukulala na other men because they say now here's the the medicine this will help you be enjoyable so that wonke amadoda olala nabo kubika imali right but also you are saying to the same girl who's now usagcoke lento lo omnike yona which is lo muthi lona ngisho then they come back two weeks oh my god man try please uh, translate for some people yeah somebody says please english i'm in namibia oh, i told god. you that some of my tribe members are not so, so sorry guys. Yeah. so what i'm saying is when when modern girls go to traditional healers in any country specific so now because we're in south africa i'll speak about south africa they will go to a tra- traditional healer and say i want traditional medicine to help keep a man so that this man is able to provide or give me money or or, or maintain a, li- a certain lifestyle that I want but in the same breath they would want to use the same traditional healer for education for work which is the good light right to say i want good things in my life i want to cleanse myself i want this but forgetting that the best bad- the bad medicine that they use to keep that man the man that gives them money will contradict the good light that they are trying to wash off and it's so unfortunate that some traditional healers and i don't know how to to to, to label them because we know them as sangomas but some sorcerers that use evilness to help young people get these men they don't educate them about the dangers of not practicing this thing consistently the dangers of leaving it the dangers of um what happens once that this man is staying with you and at some point you don't want him anymore but he's obsessed with you he's doing all of these things that's why you see 
when they finally realize that you're using traditional medicine on you there's almost like a mental breakdown and some kind of insanity that also and, and that it, it's incorrect it's logic okay. and i've said this to my tribe the minute a healer tempers with anybody's divine will right God has given each and every one a divine will. So everything that happens and 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 let's be clear here. This is not only happening because some of these men are are prominent pastors and preachers that we know because the minute people not my problem is that when you say to somebody and start to denounce their dreams because remember the dreams are messages from the spirit world. That's also a a, a red flag. When when you're a healer and when now you are tempering because one of the laws we operate by as healers is that one we don't offer help that has not been asked for so i can't go there and want to help everyone and say come and i'll help you with this and i'll help you with this number 2 is that i don't work with anybody that has not consented so even when you come to my dumba i will ask you okay koko i'm done or cool i'm done with what else do you want to know you know then you'll have to say okay what do i need to do and i'll ask you do you want me to check what you need to do you know we give you the remand to think about it because no healer who is in alignment with god's light is to heal somebody who is not asked for healing so how are you going to jesus somebody and give somebody a love potion who said i'm who who has clearly indicated they don't want to be part of this relationship by not even showing up in the consultation but some of us will be glad they want to go to those people because we want what we want so sometimes we also find ourselves in debacles like you said where we can't return back our light because we've been sucked in into the darkness because of our own greed yeah we yeah we, and i said this even on youtube let's stop calling people abogoko na bomkhulu who say they practice witchcraft that title carries it's about eldership it's about a custodian of wisdom you know it's about a, i am here to be the wise one when you went to your grandmother in lesotho when you called your uncle to rescue you in the book he became the last the wise one he didn't say hey take everything that man yeah he's used to he said leave everything that was the first you know tie you cut leave everything leave the prada bags leave the expensive life behind you actually literally had to walk to meet your uncle at the roads in santin i remember the pumbisi <laughs> you know yeah. that's why we call healers abokoko na bomkhulu but right now we don't have elder wisdom right we have the very same people who also are self serving because these are the people who give the people like about him in the book the mutis to keep you guys in slave to keep you guys in trapped so we need to be clear that let us as well as 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 the people right sing our celebrity people who are clearly saying i am a witch i am comfortable in giving somebody iliso i am comfortable in targeting u jeki manje because jeki is revealing my secrets i am comfort- when somebody is okay in tempering who is okay being in the dark why do we still want to give them the title of a healer right because we we don't see when you, you write about your books Jackie where people can talk about your twitter people we, we i think there's a collective cleansing a psychological cleansing we need as as a race basically because we also like playing in the mud so much it's so comfortable that we become so comfortable in giving healers who have said they don't heal there's no way you can can carry the sun and the moon at, in the same hands at the same time the moon does not shine at the same time as the sun it doesn't right yeah, and, and we are and, and, and i'm glad that, you know I, i'm i'm actually so glad that you touched on that because i think a lot of people have misinterpreted many things that i've said about traditional healers and, and the yeah. and the way traditional healing has become almost a uh, like a badge of honor with Mina and the Sangoma I do this I do that and even when they tell you about the things that they do you almost become interested and alert and you 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 almost want to worship them because you almost fear this thing that they carry because they like yeah I mean I can destroy your life yeah I can help you get a husband I can help you <coughs> ooh mm. oh my course mm. Okay. 
modern traditional healers have tempered so much with young people's minds to a point where they believe they cannot heal themselves yeah hence they become so desperate to consistently be seeking dark medicine and dark forces to help them excel in life so for the smallest thing they would go to a traditional healer to go get medicine for that for an example a relationship relationships are always going up and down there's never a time where it will all be rosy but the minute they have a fight with their partner they want traditional medicine they want to keep that person forced they want to have babies using traditional medicine without even understanding that your sisters could be preventing you from having a child with this person because of the darkness that they dna carry so they force things so much because it's lifestyle it it, it looks good to 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 be associated with certain traditional healers because now we can all post it looks great we are all part of a certain circle but the responsibility that traditional he- healers have on society is enormous it's within the education of traditional medicine it is within the integrity of black um black history and black um tradition to educate and also warn against certain practices that people don't know about meaning if i give you something to use to heal yourself and if you do this and you do the opposite this will happen they don't educate they just give out this medicine no but Jackie, the thing is you said it right if you see the thing is that for me even people would ask me for things you don't come on uncle limbis for what i didn't diagnose you you don't say go go back in the street i need a cleansing i didn't say you have a street so you see people do youtube and google diagnosis and then they come to healers to for 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 cleansings and treatments that they didn't prescribe we have also become irresponsible as as african spiritual practitioners Mm -hmm. we have become arrogant yeah right in in in, in the prime of social media we have become also i feel we have we, we i think i mean most of us actually have personality disorders we are so narcissistic that our need for popularity has moved us away from our purpose as healers our need for popularity as healers has moved away our purposes we create no impact instead we become even more pompous the more we trend the more we become even more pompous we will create more controversy because we needed to trend we can't even hold each other accountable because we defend in the name of my ancestor in the name of my body but you could yeah. see what is the basic rules of engagement as a practitioner i've already said it doesn't matter what you say is cause or to say is soon or to say or nomda or nenzunza but you can never temper with the temple of god this body is a temple of god i cannot do anything to attack that body i cannot directly call jackie's name and destroy jackie because jackie stole my goat mm. all i can say is release this darkness let it return to source so this is the thing we are also going to healers who have never even trained that's why like this idea it goes out to us in three months so i some of these three months initiation what are you learning the three months you go to initiation we are actually breaking down your ego you cannot serve from a place of ego because ego thinks it knows healers don't, who don't want to learn who don't who, who, who don't want to be corrected we have to grow jake because some young people who are coming to us seeking help that child you could see childhood traumas written all over them and they are seeking a soothing something to comfort them and right now they don't need an initiation about doing a good about what you say about doing a meeting but you are just an elder to listen and offer consent and say young child how do we initiate kids who are under age and expect them to deal with issues of your nature yeah because they won't be able to handle the capacity i say there's a lot even us not wanting to be held to be regulated because i say we can't get a session as two persons no stop regulating we can find ways to regulate ourselves we know there are common things that we have amongst 
you know, amongst all the different dominations of African healing that we can hold us together. We don't want those things because we want to push our own agendas and our own mission. Yeah. We want to push our own agendas and our own missions. And we are the people who can we, we remember there's there's a market. Ne? There's a market as well. I want to take it back to the people who are listening. Mm -hmm. There's a market. The market is coming from the community. There's some of us watching us right now, Jackie, who are the very same people after this life are gonna DM us WhatsApp another Boko to say, Did you hear? They were talking about you. Instead of saying, Hey Mara Boko Mara, these things that you are doing are not right. They were talking about you. Next week they will be doing a life about us. And we are coming here to enlighten. I'm gonna actually read the scripture. Yeah. When we close the life. Yeah. So I want us to get to People are asking about how did you get out, Jackie? How can people get out? How can people get you know? Man, um, it, it's it, I, I don't want to lie, and I don't want to 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 give people a sort a, a, a wrong sense of self. I was born with a gift, and the gift protected me. Yeah. And I realized the damage to my gift halfway through the damage. Meaning I was able to foresee things that this man was doing. And other people unfortunately don't have the courage to leave things. Um, I like things. I'm a lover of good life. I love fine food and all of it. But I have learned not to worship things. I have learned to, to, to respect money. In a sense, or if I have it, I'm okay. If I don't have it, I'm still okay. Young people suffer from not wanting to be seen less than. So they would leave. So they would rather be crying in Gucci, but bleeding in their panties. That's what Yee. I'm trying to explain. No, no, no. Repeat that. Repeat that. They would they rather, rather be crying in Gucci and bleeding in their panties. So, number one, once you realize that things are not the ultimate success and they are not the ultimate door to your success, you will learn to leave things behind. Meaning, mom and daughter, you, you are with someone and the only thing they present to you as an offering for a relationship is price money. It's almost like a donation or a charitable will where they are always donating things to you. You become a beggar. You become a beggar and you start worshipping this person who gives you things. Once they realize, realize that psychologically, you will start realizing the value of your life. Is your value of your life an iPhone, a holiday? And remember, a holiday is two days. It's two days in a hotel. Three days in a hotel. But you have given off your body and your mind and the prospect of your future because of two rounds, because of a cell phone, a holiday. I learned that. Once I learned that discipline, I am okay without money. I am okay. Meaning I am taking back my power from this source who thinks controls me and who has summoned demons and principalities to control my inner being. It's me declaring, Uguti, I am not made of this thing. Meaning I am not made of the Gucci bag. I am not made of the iPhone. I'm not made of the holiday. I'm not made of the clothes that this man is presenting to me. I am more. Then psychologically you realize, Uguti, he doesn't love you. He, he doesn't want good for you. He doesn't want to grow you. As a matter of fact, you're sitting in a holiday bed or in a hotel in white sheets, but you've got bruises. Your soul is bleeding. Your eyes are constantly red from internal, internal suffering. You're crying from inside and people don't see it because it's masked with good makeup and good lipstick. Mm. Once you realize that internally first, you step away and you're like, who am I in this situation? Am I the value of champagne? Am I the value of sitting at a restaurant and I'm twinkling my thumb and this man is looking at me and I'm just taking selfies? Is that my value? Which is the receipt? The receipt, man, to patali bill, but one thousand. You have eaten one thousand. Is that your value on a day to day? Is one thousand 
your, 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 your soul's desire? Is that what you're made out of? When you are comfortable to just to pose to Guti, I was sitting at this hotel and what? And then I look at your soul, I'm like, child, are you worth this receipt? Once I thought like that, once I questioned myself, I was able to step away emotionally. I'm going to come to spiritual. I was able to emotionally step away. Also, yeah. I realized, Buguti, I'm only good enough around this man when I make him shine. He never makes me shine. Mm. He never makes me shine. He will not speak of my qualities, my my intellect. He will only speak about my body. Uguti, look at her ass. Mm. I, last night was great. Ah, look at my girl, my girl. But it's only sexual. That's when you realize, Uguti, where does he place me in his life? Where does he place me in his life? And also, going back to sex, because our topic was spiritual encounters, um, sexual spiritual encounters and, and, and principalities that we carry. You know, after you sleep with someone and you completely feel naked and empty after that, nothing, no. money cannot wash that feeling. Money cannot do it. When you are lying there in the bed and this man maybe is in the bathroom or hamdili and you're sitting there naked by yourself and you're evaluating the repercussions, the feeling that in, inside Uti, I feel dirty. I feel ashamed. I feel cold. I feel like something has been taken away. That moment will replay over and over again. That's why desperation kicks in because now you want to move from this man to that man because this one is not making you feel this way. You move from one man to another to almost get that satisfaction, that love, that appreciation. You will not get it where, 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 where trade-offs are involved, where money is involved, where status is involved. You will not get it because he's not there to give you that. His mission and priority is not to give you assurance. It's not to grow you. It's not to heighten and elevate your life. That's why you see a lot of social media girls, including influencers, when they post about their good life, look at their faces. It's very rare where you see purity in the soul, where you see a genuine smile, where you see a girl truly happy. They are happy to show you what they got, not to show you the spirit. That's why most of the posts, it's just alcohol and food and lele wuki and watches and stuff. But when you look at their faces, you see the emptiness. Uguti, a year ago, you were posting happy videos. You were dancing with your friends. You were excelling at school. You were posting school results. You were posting your job. Now, you are posting and promoting a lifestyle that, that you don't own. Mm. A lifestyle that you don't even know you can sustain. That's why it's hard for them to leave because they have imprisoned themselves with what is offered by the world. Forgetting what see, in time I can offer this to myself. Mm. And I will not rob it. I will not steal it by using my body. I will not mm. use my body as excess for a handbag. I will not use my intelligence and my ass to market things that I don't own. Because it's mm. easy to stand in front of a Porsche and say, ah, what a beautiful Sunday. Sundays are for your lovers. That man doesn't love you. You are a marketing tool to his lifestyle so that he can prosper in ways that you don't even understand. Mm. You are opening a door for the next girl to, to aspire to this thing that you desperately want to run away from because he has, uh, he has used sex on you multiple times. There, there's gang rapes, there's drugs, there's when you wake up and you don't know what happened to your body. All of these things that people experience, but they will never openly say because life is so good online. Life is so good online. So when I realized those things for myself, and I'm speaking about self, when I realized that I'm just a marketing tool for his extravagant lifestyle so that he can attract more of these things, these contracts, this money, this good life. And I am forced to equally um, recruit my friends into this thing because his friend wants a girlfriend. His other business partner wants a girl. So I become the... the the, the, the bridge for his status because now i'm bringing in my friends who are going to get drugged who are going to get raped 
who are going to be used as sacrifices who at some point even end up disappearing because they still keep knees they still corneas they, they still things from women's bodies and you're like damn why are there so many dead bodies everywhere in this damn country it's children it's women it's abogok and you're like hold up have you ever heard of a man who is found in the street with missing body parts hardly hardly it's the women and children ask yourself why out of 10 you will find these two men why <clears throat> so once i started reading and remember this is now lived experience i was with this man for four years i saw the way he ran his business i saw the way he interacted with my friends i saw what his friends were doing to the girls that were around it was in and out it was a washing machine and the next girl thinks she's the one and i'm sitting there i'm like but no last week there were three other girls before you so you're really not even the one because i've seen and recruited others i've seen i've seen it you know where you are sitting with girls you're having lunch and there's a group of guys and then three weeks later one of the guys says hey so we have zilum servants quick quick there's a report that same girl is dead and you're like how did that happen because i was sure sitting- campaign with that girl three weeks ago how did that happen you know but we fear to speak about it because we want this lifestyle it looks good on us we deserve it we are so quick to trade off our friends because we are deserving of, of these rich men that's what we say as girls we are deserving i would rather go to a sangoma to make sure that my friend doesn't get married because i'm fully not i i would rather because i deserve this lifestyle So once I realized that I am not controlled by money, I'm not controlled by a lifestyle. Now I'm so comfortable to to walk in scent without makeup with my pyjama or my track suit. If one day I want to put on makeup, I I will do it, but I understand the purity of my body and soul. I do not get into spaces where I am compromised spiritually. where i now need to sell this for that sleep with this one for that do this because that's what social media people do in fact that's what society does that's why it's easy to promote prostitution as a way of life which is i to me is fine maslala nice is over right we'll go for cleansing i we've got these pink souls will go but we wanna it's for mo we wanna take and and i think we need a part 2 Yeah because people are asking so, to also let, let me just wrap up quickly before I lose my train of thought. Um okay, and so I'm just going to label all the things that I did. So that's why it's easy for for women to do these things because our healers and our elders and the people who are wise around us encourage us to do it. Uguti go sleep around and come get pink salt. Go sleep around, come get this thing to wash in a portion. Go do this, go do that. So there are no repercussions that they see. They only see the repercussions 3 or 4 years later when they can't have babies, when they can't get married, when they can't finish school, when they can can't, can't get jobs. And now reality sinks in Uguti. You have wasted 4 or 5 years sleeping around for things that, that you end up not even only because most of the men want the bags back when they break up with you. They take back the apartments, they take back the cars. So you're left with a deteriorating body that has nothing you have no spirit no soul your womb is damaged you can't have kids because multiple abortions multiple abortions that you did to yourself uh mental issues problems so number one i got rid of everything that this man gave me because i understood the spiritual connotation which isn't ozake we as bigela he uses a lot of organs and animals to get what he wants meaning we are twal that's what i'm trying to say number two, i had to get a proper proper spiritual cleansing like i said earlier on my mother and her sisters were water people so i'm a water person that's why i've got this fish here i don't, I don't know if you guys see it I'm yeah water, i can i can only get cleansed and is dozam zilunga emanzi meaning river running water or elwandle that's the only way but also once i had done that i had to be very um intentional of the people that i let into my body meaning who am i dating why am i dating that person who are the friends around me what are they doing because those friends around me they bring in 
the things that I ran away from. Do you understand? So th- there are steps and things, and then obviously you've got the mental part where I eventually went to a psychologist and I sat down with a psychologist, and I still continue to do so. Um, but I-, I would I would count those three things as the most important things: the cleansing of the mind, the cleansing of the soul, and equally maintaining a healthy lifestyle that does not bring you take you back to the things that you were doing before. Yeah. Yeah. I think your people are right. You know, your wisdom is is incredible. Uh, you know, it's a very painful experience um, that you've went through. But sometimes when our callings are greater, the mountains which we need to submit are higher. Yeah. Right. I always say sometimes as when you are called into healing, you can't heal that which you have not experienced. So you're healing us of the things that you have experienced. And you speak so courageously and unapologetically about it because you've been there. And you've been with some of the people who are showing us a soft lifestyle that, you know, uh, and we, that's the, that's the, the, you know, the side of the social media. It's because there's no story to tell. We're not going to snap it, but there were 20 pictures that were taken to get to that one picture. And you want to uh, have somebody be your role model around that one picture. And I also feel one of the things in our time is that we have a sense of entitlement, you know, versus a, a sense of putting in the work. Because you can't reap what you have not sown. You can't want to harvest from a tree which you have not planted the seeds. So these are the things that we need to kind of rewire our psychology. Those of us who came and and, and we're, we're born with the 1994 or we, we were growing up with the 1994 slogan of free, free everything. Freedom is ours because our ancestors fought for it. We need to understand that we still need to put in the work to get the results. I, I say that you put in the hard work to get the soft life. You need to put in the hard work to get the soft life because... Uh, I have, I, I've, I've got a student that I'm training. She's in marketing, right? She works in the marketing. And she says, yes, give me umbi zam cool. And some cool is getting scary. More and more young people are aspiring to a life of 40-year-olds, uh, 50-year-olds. So these, you know, I'm, I'm in my 40s. So this is, is, you know, me living in the house that I live in. Um, but you are 21. How do you aspire to live in a in a bond house of millions at an age of 21 so you will do whatever it takes to get there and not understanding that a moment of pleasure can lead to a lifetime of pain and this is what the tagline was a moment of pleasure can lead to a lifetime of of pain because certain things even with cleansing even with psychological psychological help they might be irreversible. There's things that once the damage is done, yeah. because it's been so long and you've been told to get out, you can't reverse it. Yeah. Because you had that moment in the book. I remember before the, even the baby was, was, was terminated, you know, you were feeling, I need to go. I need to run. I need to run. And I think the turning point was when they possibly t- terminated your, your baby. That's when you're like, no, that's it. I'm done. I'm going, I don't know where I'm going to go. And this man hunted you because he's... I mean, Ilo and Izaki were still around, right? And you also needed to go into isolation, you know? So retreating from a life means de- disengaging with social media, the life... So you cannot want to thrive by keeping the same kind of group and vibe, but you're saying I'm changing. They say when you're an addict, you can't be around, be around substances that you you were addicted to because you will easily fall into temptation so those are the things that people need to also understand it's a journey which has been your journey i i people want to share their story i hope we can have another time jackie to do a part two where you can be able to speak to some of the people about and and take more questions because now people are making comments and yeah, yeah I, I feel like your healing gift is connecting to the teacher in you you know muruti ki teacher yeah. when we say muruti is to teach and you cannot be called into the teaching ministry if your own life experiences have not t- taught you. If you have not learned from your own life experiences, because what you went through were God lessons for your glory. And look at you now. 
you know four or five years later you've you are an award-winning journalist you recently bought a house congratulations i don't know when i'm coming to come and eat you know because i know school cooks your muse cooks good food you know you've you've shown I'm to hosting, us that i'm hosting my first christmas lunch like i'm so excited i oh that's and, amazing and, yeah, Bona Poco, what you're saying to what you're saying right now, and I want to re-emphasize, re-emphasize what you're saying just to show you the testimony. You know, when I dated this person when I was 19, I'm 34 years old right now. It took me eight years to rebuild my life myself. At 34, only today I bought my own house. And young people think that when I'm 21, I need to have a Range Rover, I need to have I stayed eight years in Ashwini, in Marumini, in Flatini, you know, in cottages, renting here and renting there. But one thing I can tell you is that I was not ashamed of my story and who I was. And I was very clear about it. Even when people tried to shame me and say, oh, you're an ex lay queen and what? I'm like, there are things that you cannot take away from my story that did not build me. And you cannot shame me for who I am. Um, I knew I was highly intelligent, so I harnessed that intelligence with education. I paid for my own school fees until I got done. I made sure that I stay in my truth and far away from the people that were becoming addicts, meaning people who were making me addicted to that life, introducing me to those people, being around the same circle of people, drinking alcohol with the same people. You will not see me in the club. You will not see me around those people. Yes, I drink with my friends at home or wherever we are, but look at the circle of people around you. Who are they and who? why are they influencing you the way they're influencing you, you know? There were times where I would be so despondent and say, oh my God, I've worked so hard. I've written so many books. Why am I not at a certain level? Why am I not? But I understood that I had to wait and see my gift through. And I had to appreciate every single moment as hard as it was. This is this includes um, people stalking me. This includes court cases. This includes um, getting losing babies, losing partners. You know, people who are scared to date me because I'm Jackie Pamons. And I'm like, good Lord, will you? you ever see the human behind this facade that you have created yourself who is this person you know what 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 have they learned what how have they grown what have they produced out of the little that they have now i had nothing i had zero i left my relationship with zero not no money no car no accommodation no even no friends even saying come come um come live with me come do this i i had nothing zero zero and it took me eight years to rebuild it by myself with nothing so i don't want people to say yeah i'm scared to leave i don't have this god always makes his way out for you so that your true will and his destiny is fulfilled through you and he will make a plan for you if only you declare that you want a different life you can't say you want a different life and then three months later you're still dating the same people you're still sleeping around you're still with the same friends it will not happen you are robbing yourself from destiny because the more you waste time with these things and the more you get addicted to this life you rob yourself of so many other opportunities on the side so in just closing i am grateful so grateful to the people who genuinely read my books for what they were, who were invested in the true story, who supported me in getting the word out and who equally wanted to understand what I was saying. They were not just judging from this pedestal to say, oh, you're making these stories up. I'm not. If you look at what's happening now on social media and people's lives, people are experiencing things that I spoke about five years ago five six seven years ago you know from 2016 2017 only those things are coming to light now where you see girls saying oh this guy peed on me we went to do this people are sleeping with dogs and animals bestiality and all of those things are coming to light now and it is sad to 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 even imagine a 16 19 year old sleeping with a 60 50 something year old just for a happy style so that they can look good um but all i can say is it took me a very painful eight years to rebuild what i have painful eight years and i am grateful that i went through it because 
now as an adult who understands life i'm able to direct my own life and i'm able to support and direct the people who are around me and thank goodness there there's these books that i've written that help many other people who are willing to understand and learn who are open minded who are not just sitting there just to judge this person who has written the books but they want to learn um but i i just hope it's the legacy that i leave behind i just pray that those who get to read the books can share them with their friends because it's generational curses that we are experiencing right now you know from a sister to a brother and aunt and uncle and mother there are mothers who are struggling to even get to their children in terms of information and just conversation so i hope the books will they have done their purpose yeah i think every you know i my first born is 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 a boy and he's the one who started to finish the book bear because when i i was borrowed the book by someone so i had to order it on take a lot so you can get jake's books on take a lot exclusive books bagged books estola books so it's everywhere and i know even uh, most of your books have been on the top 10 for months there that's how powerful you guys she's such an amazing you you hear her right if you love reading you'll be like remember that which i'm going to take you aka robala i was reading the book <laughs> and i'm like can i get to the end of the book but it's so you get so in you such an amazing storyteller but i'll tell you who else is going to be your biography who's going to write your biography queen begazella yo the way she quotes you queen begazella i've been watching the comments and i'm like there is jackie's biographer so you you don't have to do your own writing so she's going to tell your true story uh, you've told it you know in a in a fiction way but it it lives within our hearts and as mothers as sisters to daughters because we we I feel like we need people are asking for a part 2 and I want us to speak about part 2 to actually say that it's not only girls because in the book the boys starts to come yeah. as well how these young men who also start to fall into yeah. this lifestyle but also women because there was a, a few questions about Jackie what do we do if we are women who are married to these guys yeah. right Yes, I mean we're talking about uh you know um Tim's wife here who was married to Tim and you everything. Yeah. So how do we help you know how we how do we help people who to leave these relationships who are married and have children and how to keep you know so some of the you know some of that and then we can we can hear people stories today we just wanted to to actually just you know lend the topic we just wanted to lend the topic and all I can say to you Jackie is that Do not let people who don't know your story dim your light. Do not let people who don't know your story, who have not traveled in your journey to dim your light. And if your light is shining too bright, just buy them Gucci glasses because now you can afford it from your own account. <laughs> and the yeah, darling, handle my light, you know? So this is it and I I I kikupa mudimu aba dimuba to bless you with all your heart desires and to actually have a tv series we need a netflix we need a you know we need a show max we we know from our lips to god's ears yeah. we need a something we need something you know we need something we did for the youngsters definitely. who are not coming we here definitely. yes and i'm saving this hey, people are like, save it go go please save it yeah. we're gonna save it and uh, make sure that you you share it with the young people that needs to you know to listen to it with everybody that needs to listen to it we we you can have a whole podcast on this Jackie yeah. you know if if we're not getting a series then let's call for a podcast you know uh, you know because i'm looking at people like Oso City you know let's take the right people who can do a series with you you can't just be doing and the books are self published as well i know you put in the money don't you know is glad changing But I want to read the scripture because I feel like the scripture is speaking to the work that you're doing. So when we did a check-in and I was realizing we are touching on a heavy topic so I prayed. Um as you know, I've just been ordained as Muruti. <laughs> so I'm a Sangoma and a Muruti and I was actually on Tibo Touch's show today and I'm like let's stop separating these things. These things are from the same source. They are from God. just different branches of a tree. So, it's on Daniel 7, right? And 7 for me is a number of completion. It's a powerful spiritual number. And uh, it's Daniel 
verse 2, Jackie. Verse, verse 11. So 11 for me is about two. So your work is about bringing order into chaos. And it says, I looked then because of the sound of the great words that the horn was speaking. And as I looked, the beast the beast was killed, its body destroyed and given over and burnt with fire. As for the rest of the beast, their dominion was taken away, but their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. Do you know when you say beast, there is something about the human form that morphs is itself into a beast. You know when you when you know who you are and you know your source, you move into the world differently. You speak differently, you dress and articulate yourself differently, but the courage that comes from knowing your source and who you are is so important and I, and and I truly pray that people start realizing that they can equally be their own healers because we all have a god inside of us yes you reach out to a pastor a preacher a sangoma to aid the power that you already have once they understand that because i saw a lot of comments now people saying didn't you go to a pastor i have a pastor who does this for me i have blah blah once you realize that you can't always crutch on outside influences or outside um, energy all the time, you need to equally lean into your own so that those energies aid you and you, you're not crippled when they're gone. Because people have this tendency of saying, yo, my, my gobella is in KZN, I, I can't do anything where I am. You can do what you can with the power that you already have. That is that. So, that was me. Eh? Take it to me. 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 To be aware of the beasts and the things of the world, but also it reminds me of the beast within. Yeah. So. The yeah, and and I mean, there's a quote that says, "A true healer is one that is able to ignite the healer in others, because healers yeah. are just facilitators. Yeah. So a facilitator is one that activates the power that is within, including a gobela. We are all born with with gifts." The ancestors don't give you the gift. They just pass on the tools. And what a healer does is to ignite your gift and connect it to the ancestral tools so that you can be able to use them, right? It's activated for usage because it's in you, but it's inactive. Therefore, you can use it. So that's that's basically for me, you know, um, what it is. When you're a true healer, you'll help people find ways to heal themselves and of course when you are in this in a particular state because you are emotionally involved and you need to be moved away but work with somebody who can give you tools to find ways where you don't always have to call them when there's a fly on the wall yeah. when there's an ant in the house you know when the room the roof is shaking because they actually have cultivated and given you the healer and they say we actually become true healers when we can actually transcend from our own life experiences. People heal. A lot of people are healing, Jackie, tonight from your own lived experiences. A lot of people are healing because you took your books and you started a healing movement by telling a story in such an empowering way. You took your books, your story in an empowering way. You could have started a movement of anti and went and, uh, you know, went to go find team your justice is here by the work that you are doing because many people who would have found themselves in the hands of a team tonight are making a U10. And as we're talking right now, the other one is deleting team's number as we speak because they didn't know. And as we know better tribe members, let us do better because as we do better, we become better. That is it for tonight. It was like a two hour conversation. Yo. Jackie. Love you lots. Thank you for, for your time. Thank you for giving.